Hi, my name is Liz, and you're watching 101.9 Kink in the Skype Live Studio. Hey, keep it going for Liz Vice. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and taking yeah. time out for us today. Yeah, of course. I don't know if you know this about Liz. She's a Portland native from right here in town. Well, since the age of four, but that counts. I've been here a long time. Yeah. So welcome home. Yeah. Are you on? Do you get? Are you on a break right now, or is this the middle break. of the tour? Well, this is round two of our very first tour. So in October, we were on the East Coast from the third of October until the nineteenth, and it was like dive in head first, never done a tour before, and because I am poor, <laughs> I don't have money for a tour manager. So like diving in head first tour manager, accountant, driver, with assistance of Jackie McLeod, my keys, uh, finding housing, advancing the shows, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I have to sing. So, <laughs> oh yeah, hey, my name is Liz, and every single night, I'm like, my heart was left on that stage. I don't know what I have left. And then night after night after night, and I just feed off the people who support me, and I'm like, I don't even know how you guys know me. But thank you so much for coming. So it's it's like, I felt like I was wowed every single night of like, well, don't know how I'm going to do that again. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be kind of a trip. Like, yeah. okay. Uh, it's now weird. You, yeah. It is. And to take it all on your own. Yeah, I mean, I have... I have management and they do like the behind the scenes stuff of PR setting pe me up with radio interviews and newspaper articles and magazines. But if only musicians, singers showed up to sing yeah, and that's right. all we did. It's like, man, it's so, I feel like I'm always, my mind is always on, okay, I need to make sure I find housing for that. And what are the lyrics to that song? And can I start this song with no instruments and hit the right key? So it's like always on. Do I have time to try to be creative and write new stuff? No, I'd rather sleep. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's work. But it's also awesome and surreal how many people get to live lives like this especially with the people that I have in my band, so encouraging and just so talented, and I'm always blown away by even what I hear when I'm on stage. So This wasn't the route that you intended to take. You you were going to be an actress. <laughs> well. Wait, don't, don't scoff at that. Well, you... I, I no. For all you actresses and actors out there, <laughs> I still appreciate you. So I wanted to be an actress when I was a kid. Oh, okay. And then I was like, well, I don't want to play a slave or like a teen mom because, you know, brown people, they don't really have a lot of roles in production. And so I said, I am going to go to school and make the films that I want to see. Mm -hmm. But then I had a lot of health issues mm -hmm. and then I didn't think I would live past the age of 21. And my health turned around and I decided to go to film school and went to film school. I'm in debt because I have a degree, and <laughs> now I'm singing. And I've only been doing this since last January on a professional level. And to go from behind the scenes doing paperwork, wondering when's my next job gonna come, to being in front of people and I'm like, hey, my name is Liz, and I have a message of hope for you. I hope you enjoy it. Like, it's surreal. I don't even think my brain can comprehend what is actually happening. Yeah, I mean, talk about a whirlwind, like a year oh, and a yeah. half. Like, what was your world a year and a half ago? Before, uh, like, what, what was going on? And then how did that... Struggling in film. Yeah. It's feast or famine. And so you're like, okay, that project was awesome, or that project was really hard working 15-hour days sure. for, like, two to three months. And then to go and be vulnerable and sing. And people are like, when did you know you knew how to sing? And honestly, I've never thought about it. Wow. Like people ask me questions that I've never thought about because I don't just, oh, that's when I learned how to sing. Mm -hmm. It just is something that was there. And sometimes I hear myself back and I'm like, where did that come from? Mm. Or like, I sound just like my mom. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because this quote that I read, like when you were in the studio, 
the whole time I was in the studio, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm an imposter. They have no <laughs> idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I felt when I sang There's a Light. I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm singing these notes. They're not saying anything. It's horrible. It's horrible. And then they're like, okay, next song. And even on stage, I'm like, I hate wearing shoes on stage. I need to feel comfortable. Even like the tiniest heel. I'm like, this thing could cause me to fall over. So I'm going to be barefoot. So yeah, I mean, now I don't really feel like an imposter because I've learned that people support not only the music, but just me as a person. And so I'm just myself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm dorky and awkward and I really don't care. Right. Yeah. Just be you. Yeah. And that's what we want. Yeah. We'll hear some more from Liz Vice. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.